Hello everyone, I've managed to level up a Horde character to level 90, so I was very excited to be able to show you both sides of the 5.2 storyline. However, as it turns out, the differences are minuscule or non-existent, so what I'm going to do is tell you the global story from both sides and see if we can find any interesting lore. Secure the remains, brothers. By Zandalari hands, he has been taken. By Zandalari voice. Weekend. The Zandalari have resurrected the Thunder King and together they've reclaimed the Isle of Thunder. Jaina and Lorfamar both lead the siege on the Isle and they've recruited heroes of the Alliance and the Horde to help them. They still hate each other over the events at Dalaran and both warn you that although we're fighting against the Thunder King, we still need to keep an eye on our enemies. The Horde will find no purchase on these shores and when the Thunder King lies beaten, the Pandaren will see that it was Alliance heroes who stood by them in their hour of need. Enough talk. You know how precarious our position is. Between the Alliance and the Thunder King, only with the help of heroes like you can we hope to succeed here. The siege begins with taking down the shield that the Zandalari have created. You fly in and get shot down by lightning, and it almost seems like the Zandalari were expecting you. We were not safe at all. They were waiting for us. Our forces are scattered throughout the swamp, and we are alone behind and enemy lines. To arms, me brothers! Hurl them back to the sea! You fight your way through some barricades, a mini boss, and after that you take out the one that is holding up the shield. This allows the troops to come on land, and you're ready for the next stage. The shield! It is down! We did it! Champion, without your help I would have died in that swamp. I owe you my very life. That's the Alliance spirit for you. Unstoppable. Varisa, establish a perimeter. Modera, place the sentry wards. Narasi, begin porting in tents and supplies. Romath, establish a perimeter. Aethus, begin placing the sentry wards. Cathiel, unload the shelters and supplies. The unworthy have not yet learned of my power. Warbord Altukla, add my strength to you. Make a demonstration of these invaders, such that all nations tremble before me. All will fall before us. Shall move! Secure the inner courtyard. None should look upon my works and live. As my emperor wills. Lei Shen grants some of his powers to war god Al Chukla and orders him to stop you. You, together with your faction, plant some explosives and you blow up a wall in order to create a pathway to the throne of thunder. Al Chukla tries to stop you, but he is no match for your power. The charges are placed. Hero, you may have the honor. Destroy them, my brothers! We are the Horde. We do not back down. Well done. We're through. Pull together, everyone. Press the advantage. This way. The Zandalari are falling back. By the light. What did they do to that thing? You will be punished. Your life. A listen. Impurity. Zandalari. Bar the gates! The Zandalari have failed to hold the wall. Rangers, to me! We have broken their lines! <sighs> My Lord Regent, you should not be so close to the front lines. Nonsense. This is where I belong. Champion, again you are at the forefront of a Horde triumph. And once more, I am in your debt. Regroup behind the wards, everyone. They will counterattack, but we will be ready. It's dead. You're an inspiration to the Kirin Tor. 
Teresa, are you hurt? Yes. It is nothing. I am fine. You need to get back to camp. I can't lose you. Gather up the wounded. We've struck a mighty blow today. The next part of our campaign begins. You found a dinosaur on the island called the Thunderwing, which is immune to the lightning strikes that protect the island. You use it to fly to the Thunder King's armory. On your way, you're attacked by trolls in the air, but one by one they fall for your might. You, together with Taoshi from the Shadow Pen, assault the mines and clear the way for the rest of your troops. Well, now, you sure know how to arrive in style. Good to see you. Stay light on your feet. Let's get down to business. I've trained my entire life for this. We are almost to the gate. There, the slave master. Hold his attention while I am the law. Is this another uprising? The gates are undone! Rangers, secure the forge! Smash the gate so it cannot be closed! Lady Proudmoore, it is safe for you to enter. You two did it! I knew the Shadow Pan would make excellent allies! We share a common enemy, Regent Lord. Nothing more. Regardless, we have delivered a terrible blow to the Thunder King today. Horde metalsmiths can begin studying Mogu fabrication techniques immediately. Verisa, gather up everything we can find before the Mogu return. Leave nothing for the Horde to claim. My lady, weapons of the Thunder King are an abomination. They should be destroyed. In good time, my Pandaren friend. In good time. Thank you, Taoshi. Your faction leader claims the weapons of the Thunder King for their own, despite Taoshi her protests. Ah, champion. We were just talking about you. It does not matter. Taoshi's proposal is too dangerous. Taoshi has come up with a bold plan to infiltrate the Thunder King's shipyard and open the doors from within. You fly over the Zandalaya troops and take out a couple of their sentry totems. After that, you board the ship, sabotage their weapons, and you make your way to the gatekeeper. Sounds like they found our little present. Enough hiding, little ones. There is no escape now. The only way out is through me. Through well, you, is it? I think we can manage that. Would you prefer we go through the belly or the ribcage? Strike me! It's to strike his majesty! He will not suffer this insult! Well fought. Now, the gates, before the Thunder King's entire army comes down on us. Ranger, shatter the hinges. Wedge the doors open. Your plan worked. The two of you accomplished the work of an army. The fighting skills of my companion are quickly becoming legendary among the Shadow Pan. Indeed. We must get you two back to safety. Thanks to you, the Thunder King is now completely under siege. It is time to kick down the Thunder King's front door. Shambu, a servant of the Thunder King, is trying to resurrect an old storm dragon named Nalak. You, together with your faction, make your way to the courtyard with the intentions of stopping Shambu. However, your enemy of the Alliance or the Horde are doing the same, but your leader tells you to focus on the Zandalari and ignore the enemy for now. One ignore problem the Horde. at a time, focus people. On the Zandalari focus guarding on the Zandalari. The door. <laughs> Regent Lord, more Zandalari approach from the mines! Damn their hides! Rangers, hold this position! Toshi, get those doors open! Champion, with me! We must press forward while your comrades cover the rear! More Zandalari are making their way to the courtyard, and you are told to join Taranzu as your faction holds them off. You try to stop Shambu, but Zandalari trolls stand in your way, allowing Shambu to finish his ritual, and now like the Stormlord is reborn. I am born of thunder! You battle against Shambu as Nalak shoots lightning from the sky and you manage to finish him off, but not before Taranzu receives some serious injuries. I 
I tire of your insolence. Kill him. I will take the life from you, impudent slave. Finish him. Uh, no! My emperor! My emperor! I have failed you. you. See, no power of this world can trample the pure of spirit. Meanwhile, the Horde and the Alliance have managed to kill the reinforcements of the Zandalari, and now, after weeks of fighting each other on the island, it comes down to the final showdown. Lord Zhu, the Alliance, the Horde, all chaos is about to erupt out here. Oh, my children. Toshi, hand me my weapon. My lord, you are gravely wounded. My weapon. Champion. With me, I want you to see this. Hand over the Archmage, and I may yet allow you to walk out of here, Lorthamar! Proudmoor! You will release my people from the Violet Hold, or I will cut you down myself! Your people are legitimate prisoners of war! They orchestrated an attack on Darnassus, from my city! The Sun Reavers knew nothing of Garrosh's raid on Darnassus! Enough! There will be no more bloodshed today! I see now why your alliance and your horde cannot stop fighting. Every reprisal is itself an act of aggression, and every act of aggression triggers immediate reprisal. They I have must protect my sovereign every people. Attempt at peace. Silence! You must break the cycle. It ends today. Here, the cycle ends when you, Regent Lord, and you, Lady Proudmoor, turn from one another and walk away. Rangers, lower your weapons. My lord! Very well. We will stand down. They killed my husband. This won't bring him back. But know this, Blood Elf. There can be no peace while Hellscream is Warchief of the Horde. That is precisely why I wish to conserve our strength today. Lady? Lord. Gather the wounded. Withdraw to the harbor. Everyone, regroup back at the camp. Our work here is done. Lord Zhu! Champion, this ceasefire may not last, but remember what you have seen today. Talanzu, despite his grave injuries, intervenes, and both the Horde and the Alliance decide to step away and focus their attentions on a greater threat, namely Garrosh. You are left with a final mission of killing Nalak the Stormlord, and that's the global story of the assault on the Isle of Thunder. We are victorious, the threat of the Thunder King is gone, the Zandalari are defeated, Jaina and Lorfamar decide to focus their attention on Garrosh, and both factions just walk away and leave Taranzu with his injuries. This next part will be a little bit of speculation and personal opinion, so don't take anything I say as set in stone. Although the global story is the same, you do end up with a different weapon. Jaina wants you to power up her staff of Antonidas, and she tells you that this will be used to crash down the walls of Ogrimar. Lorfamar wants you to get the blood of the Dark Animus in order to study it and use it for his own constructs. You might think that one got a better deal than the other, but in the end I personally don't think it will really matter. We'll probably see these weapons used once at the Siege of Ogrimar, and after that you'll never hear from them again, much like the focusing iris that Jaina has in her possession. During the standoff between the Horde and the Alliance, the following happens. Your people are legitimate prisoners of war. They orchestrated an attack on Darnassus from my city. The Sun Reavers knew nothing of Garrosh's raid on Darnassus. 
Aphis Sunreaver shifts uncomfortably. I took this as Aphis knowing more than he told Lorfamar and assumed that the Horde must have seen something that we as an alliance didn't. As it turns out the Horde didn't get any additional information so it's anyone's guess what this shifting actually means. Some say that Aphis knew exactly what was going on while others believe that he was uncomfortable being reminded of the events at Dalaran. Either way I think there's more to Aphis than meets the eye and I can't wait to find out. So there you have it, the story of the siege on the Isle of Thunder. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll also upload a couple of videos that show the complete playthrough from both the Horde and the Alliance side. And I also have a video up that tells about the story of the upcoming patch 5.3. Subscribe if you like my videos, and until next time guys, see ya!